Major changes are on the horizon for the real estate market, particularly concerning how real estate agents are compensated. If you're considering a career in real estate or planning to buy or sell property, it's crucial to familiarize yourself with these upcoming changes. So traditionally, when buying or selling real estate, individuals enlist the help of real estate agents to help facilitate the transaction. Sellers typically engage a seller's agent while buyers work with a buyer's agent. Sellers commonly pay a commission of 5% to 6% to their seller's agent. And buyers are often informed that this service provided to them is free, with the implication that the cost of representation is covered by the seller. This is because the seller's agent typically splits the commission paid by the seller with the buyer's agent. However, this long-standing practice is undergoing significant shifts. Reforms are on the way that may alter how real estate agents are compensated, potentially impacting both buyers and sellers. These changes aim to promote transparency and fairness in real estate transactions while ensuring that consumers are fully informed about the costs associated with hiring a real estate agent. So what's the issue with that? Well, there are three that we'll discuss. The issue with the National Association of Realtors NAR, NAR, lies in several problematic practices that hinder competition among real estate brokers in the United States. These practices ultimately harm both home sellers and buyers. Here's the breakdown. Concealing, commission, and misleading buyers. NAR's rules allows for the concealment of commission earned from sellers, which can mislead buyers into believing that there is no cost to them for using a realtor's service. This lack of transparency distorts the true cost of real estate transactions and undermines informed decision-making by buyers. Second, price fixing. NAR's establishment of a standard 5% to 6% fee for real estate transactions, with the fee then being split between the brokers, limits price competition in the market. This fixed fee structure restricts sellers and buyers from freely negotiating prices, resulting in a less competitive market dynamic. Violation of antitrust laws, that's the third one. NAR's practice, such as allowing buyer brokers to filter MLS listings based on the level of commission offered and limiting access to lock boxes, violates antitrust laws. These actions restrict competition by making it more difficult for brokers who offer lower commissions and by limiting access to essential resources for non-NAR affiliated brokers. Such practices undermine the principles of fair competition and harm both the consumer and smaller brokers. And because of this, in October, a federal jury found that the National Association of Realtors and other real estate brokerage conspired to inflate commissions paid to home buyers, real estate agents and determined that the National Association of Realtors and its co-defendant owed damages of almost $1.8 billion. The ruling was a result of an antitrust suit brought on by a group of Missouri home sellers in 2019, which argued that the industry-wide practice of requiring the seller to pay both the seller's and buyer's agent commission and other practices that resulted in the nationwide standard of a 5 to 6%, which is much higher than in many other countries. So is it still worth becoming an agent or working with a real estate agent? Absolutely. And here's why. As a real estate agent myself, I obtained my license precisely to broker my own deals. Over the years, I've been deeply immersed in buying and selling various properties and businesses, using my status as a buyer's agent to negotiate a portion of my purchase price back to me as a commission. With the impending changes in the industry, I now have even greater leverage and flexibility in negotiating deals. Having a real estate license opens doors to numerous benefits, including access to valuable market insights, networking opportunities, and the ability to navigate complex transactions with confidence. Whether you're an investor, um, a developer, you're selling property, working with a knowledgeable agent, or becoming one yourself can be a smart move to maximize your opportunities and achieve your real estate goals. As an agent, I have insider access to investment opportunities and market trends. You can leverage your knowledge and expertise to identify lucrative investment properties, navigate favorable deals, and build a diverse real estate portfolio. 
For example, you may come across distressed properties or investment opportunities before they hit the market, giving you a competitive edge in securing profitable deals. As it relates to working with an agent, it is still highly advantageous. Real estate agents bring a wealth of knowledge and expertise to the table. They can provide valuable guidance throughout the buying and selling process, helping clients navigate complex legal and financial aspects. For example, when buying a home, an agent can offer insights into local market trends, neighborhoods, and property values, enabling clients to make informed decisions. One of the key roles of a real estate agent is to negotiate on behalf of their clients. Agents are skilled negotiators who can advocate for their clients' interests, whether it's securing the best possible price for a property or negotiating favorable terms in a contract. Their negotiating skills can potentially save clients time and money while ensuring a successful outcome. For instance, an agent may negotiate repairs or concession during the inspection period, saving the buyer's thousands of dollars in potential expenses. So before making your decision, it's important to consider the evolving landscape of the real estate industry, including recent developments such as the lawsuit against the National Association of Realtors. The lawsuit highlights the need for transparency and fairness in the real estate transaction market, emphasizing the importance of understanding how changes in regulations may impact you as a buyer, seller, or an aspiring real estate agent. By staying informed and proactive, you can navigate these changes effectively and make decisions that align with your best interests. Whether you choose to work with a real estate agent or pursue a career in real estate yourself, remember to prioritize integrity, diligence, and professionalism in all your endeavors.